What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix a PC uh, case fan here. Now these are 140 mm uh, fans, but it doesn't really matter what fan it is. Uh, you can uh, fix them by uh, putting some oil or grease inside there. Now, if they're brushless fans or they've got access to a little panel at the back here, with a, which is covered by a sticker, I'm going to show you how you can go about trying to uh, fix these. Now, you may be saying to yourself, why don't you just buy a new fan? Well, fan prices are quite expensive. Some of the good quality fans are 10, 15 and 20 pounds or more uh, to buy a fan. Now these are pretty cheap generic type fans that come with cases when you buy them. Uh, so I'm just using these as an example. Uh, but if you do have a quality fan that does have a access point on the back, then uh, you can use this method to uh, repair the fan. And pretty much any type of fan, whether it be a small little fan uh, for any sort of uh, appliance that you've got you can generally take them apart and uh, get, put some oil in there or grease uh, along the spindle and that will then generally uh, stop it from squealing or making a nasty sand when it's spinning so you can see here I've got another fan here this is another type of fan which is a cooler master fan you normally get these with uh, cases when you buy them and stuff uh, but you can see here if you just look really closely there just underneath that sticker you'll see like a little ridge and that is the grommet that which will give you access uh, to the back of the fan so you can take it apart. Now, if you really want to strip these down, you can do, but I'm just going to pull this sticker off here. And normally these come off pretty easy, but if you find it really uh, stuck down hard, then you can use a, a heat gun or an air dryer just to uh, loosen up the glue there. But normally they come off pretty easy and just keep these to one side. Now this one has two uh, stickers on here, but you can now see that grommet there. So let me just pull this one off as well. And as I prise this off, you should see uh, a little tiny grommet stuck to there. There we go. And that's going to allow you uh, to get access to uh, the back of the spindle inside there, where you can then put on some grease or some oil. Now, if you don't want to take it apart, you don't have to. You can try to put the oil in there without taking it apart. Now, don't overfill these. You should see like a little washer inside there and you can lift that off and this will allow you to uh, take it off. But you can see it moving around inside there and this is generally what causes the squealing or the uh, noise in there. Now, you can put a little dob of grease in there if you want to, if you have some grease to hand. Um, if it's dirty, uh, you may want to clean this right out and strip it down but um, obviously if it's not got no dirt in there and it's clean then you can just add a bit of oil uh, and uh, don't use WD-40 in there but if I put a pair of scissors here just lift up on this little washer you can see here I'm going to push that down so I don't need to take it out but if I need to take it out I can do and put some grease around that little um, the spindle on there and push it back in uh, you don't need vast amounts of grease, just a tiny bit, but you can see a little bit of grease on the surface of it here. Uh, so obviously I know that I can drop a bit of oil there and it will fall inside uh, that little leg there and go down there and it should stop the uh, noise. But if you do want to remove that, you can do, it just lifts out. And then you can take the front of the blade away and this will give you access to the little motor in there, uh, which helps spin uh, the fan. Now I'm going to be using the 3-in-1 oil. Now I've been using this for years. Uh, my dad used to use this and uh, basically it's a really old uh, brand in the UK. But I'll put a link down in the video description so you can get hold of it. Uh, but just use oil of the type um, and you should be okay. Don't use any sort of WD-40 because that's like a degreaser and that will take away any sort of uh, grease. You don't really want to do that. You want to add uh, lubricant to it. And if you add just a little teeny bit and it will drop down that little spindle and it should uh, slip inside that little leg there and stop any sort of noise uh, from there. Wipe away any residue here and uh, you should be okay. Just give it a little move around and it will fall inside uh, that little sort of washer thing there, retaining washer there. Just give it a little bit of move around and clean off any oil and then we can stick down our uh, stickers. I'm just giving this a little move around to try and make it go inside there and it seems to be dropping inside okay so I don't need to remove that little uh, piece there but if I found it to be a bit noisy still then I can always remove that and then put some grease on there but in this case it seems to be okay. 
So let me go ahead now and uh, get the sticker back with the grommet and put that back over. And I just need to push that back in. There we go. Stick that one down and we can put our sticker back. Now if you find they're not sticking down properly, you can either put a bit of tape on them or use some sort of a sticky glue on the back and it will stick it down. But that's good enough for what we need here. And we should be good to go there. And we should now have a fan uh, with a nice lubricated spindle there and you should have no squealing or any sort of noises coming from that fan. And it's a good way of uh, fixing it. Now again, if you find it still making noise, you may need to remove that little washer and take it out and pack a bit of grease around there. You don't need a lot and that should be good enough to fix it. Let me just quickly show you this one as well. They're both the same sort of thing, but I'll just quickly show you this by pulling this one apart here and you'll see that. Now this stick is a little bit more tougher to get off, but it should come off. There we go. Once you pull this off, you'll see a little grommet. There we go. In this case, it's not a grommet. This is like a little plastic cap on this one. And it's the same sort of thing inside there uh, with a little sort of rivet, plastic rivet or metal rivet there. You just have to remove that if you want to. And that's it. Just stick it back down, put a bit of oil in there and you should be pretty much good to go. And that's how you can keep your fans working in tip top condition by using just some three in one oil. And this is pretty affordable stuff. It's good lubricant oil. It also cleans and it prevents uh, rust. And you can see on the back here, it's good for a load of different uh, jobs around the home, bicycles, any sort of cogs or chains, cars, sewing machines. It's good for all that sort of stuff. So get yourself a little pot of this. It's really useful. And uh, I'll leave the link in the video description. I'm pretty sure you can get it in the States as well. Anyway, I hope this one's been helpful to you. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.